the population of African savanna elephant is declining at the rate of 8% each year. Poaching of elephants remain the major threat, but habitat loss is another significant threat that makes most meta populations isolated due to increase in human activities. This study is done in northern part of Tanzania to identify connectivity and gene flow barrier for the African savanna elephants between the Greater Serengeti ecosystem and other meta populations in northern Tanzania. Unfortunately, in northern Tanzania, no genetic studies have been done to assess the impact of habitat isolation. This research aims at assessing genetic diversity, connectivity, and population structure. Microsatellite markers are widely used in the study of conservation genetics. These are short tandem repeats of DNA between two to six nucleotides, which are widely distributed in the whole genome. Microsatellites are suitable for this study as they are highly polymorphic and a minute amount of DNA is sufficient for analysis. The fecal samples were collected from Tanzania and the laboratory analysis is done at Penn State University, which has one of the best genomic facilities. The analysis involved DNA extraction, PCR amplification, genotyping and running structure program to identify the number of subpopulations and assign individuals to clusters based on their genotypes. We use FST values to determine the extent of genetic differentiation, which can reflect the rate of gene flow. We also determine sex of each individual for further analysis. Results show that there are at least three subpopulations in the study area. There is an evidence for gene flow within the Serengeti ecosystem, but limited between Serengeti and Tarangire. The results obtained from this study can provide the theoretical basis for conservationists to formulate future conservation strategies. This will help identify priority areas for population connectivity in northern Tanzania, which will help target conservation interventions aimed at protecting wildlife corridors. We also provide a baseline information from which future reference on population structure will be made. Further analysis will be done to include more samples in order to obtain a complete picture. In future, I'll work with stakeholders to secure remaining wildlife corridors and address human health and conflict and participate actively in conservation education.